So the Vedo zone and the unsaturated zone, how does that fit into the overall workings of the earth? I mean, how does that fit into the, the, the water budget and the, and the hydrologic cycle? And I think it's really important to get a feeling for this. And so what I want to do is get a sense for how much energy is controlled by the Veda zone. Or we can say controlled by the soil. Okay. And so the deal is that the sun puts down at noon about 1,000 watts per square meter. And if you average over the whole day and the whole year, the average rate of, of energy coming to the Earth is about 300 or so watts per meter squared. That's the average amount of energy coming down on the Earth. And the question is, how much is this compared to the amount of energy required to evaporate all the water that the soil is holding? Okay? So first off, let's do a, a budget, let's, let's calculate how much energy this accounts for in a whole year. So 300 watts per square meter. And now a, one day, I'm going to say, is about 100,000 seconds. It's a little bit of an overestimate. It's really, it's really 86,000. But so we'll say it's about 100,000 to keep the math easy. And we'll say that one year is about equal, since this is an overestimate, I'm going to underestimate and say it's about 300 days in a year, just to keep things simple. So what we have is 300 watts, and a watt is one joule per second, right? OK. So we have 300 times 100,000, and the total joules per day is going to be 300,000, 3 million, 30 million joules per day. Okay. And then we have to multiply that by another 300, and so that gives us 30 million. 30, 300 million, 3 billion, it's about 9 times 10 to the 9th joules per year per meter squared. Okay. This is all per meter squared. Okay. So that's how much energy the sun is giving us. It's actually a lot of energy. Now, what do we compare that to then? Well, we know that the rainfall or precipitation more generally, is about equal to one meter per year. And that's true remarkably over much of the Earth. Obviously, there are some dry areas. Obviously, there are some wetter areas. But for much of the, of the Earth, it's about a meter per year. Now, to how much energy would be required to evaporate that cubic meter of water per square meter. So this is one meter by one meter, and it's one meter tall. Okay? How much energy are we going to require to, 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 uh, to evaporate that? And so what we know is it takes 2,200 joules per gram to evaporate water. And we know in a cubic meter, that's 1,000 liters, okay? or 1,000 kilograms in a cubic meter of water. So that's going to mean that there are 10 to the 6th grams of water. And so in our per meter cubed, right? And so now multiplying the, the energy per gram times the number of grams, it gives us 2.2 times 10 to the 6, 7, 8, 9 joules per meter cubed of water to evaporate it. So in rough numbers, we see that one quarter of all of the sun's energy that hits the Earth is spent in, is, 
is spent in both evaporating and, and raining, the rain being over the surface of the Earth, a representation of the total evaporation over the surface of the Earth. So one quarter of all the sun's energy goes to evaporation. And this is what happens in soils, is there weren't soils when it rained, it would just simply run off or percolate out of the root zone. What the soils do is they provide us this storage mechanism that holds onto the water and allows there to be that evaporation. And so you can attribute one quarter of the total solar energy to the soil's ability to retain water and let it evaporate, and in the process of evaporation or transpiration, that is where we get the fixing of carbon and all the food we eat and the sources of most of the energy that we actually consume. So it's a very interesting thing to see that the soil is really a key player in the global energy balance. So as we irrigate, for example, then we change that energy balance by creating more opportunity for evaporation and perhaps bumping up that number a little bit. Whereas if we deforest and create a desert, then this number is bumped down and the energy goes other places.